So now we're finally going to create the sign up UI for our backend API that we created recently. So if you could see that my application is running and we're going to have the sign up, you know, removed over here, let me just open it up at the same time. You could see over here, if I go to slash sign up, uh, sign up right now, I just removed that text so you can't see it, but let's just, uh, you know, start from here. Okay. So what we're going to do in here is first of all, we're going to create, um, you know, a div, um, and the div will have an h1 tag inside so uh, yeah and the h1 tags would say sign up so s i g n u p okay so you could see that sign up text over here let me just make this a little smaller okay after this we have uh, you know other things that we have to concern let's just add some cool styling to this first of all uh we don't want that sign up to be on the left so what we're going to say is we're going to put a class name here and what we're going to do is we're going to use CSS class names, right? So first of all, we're going to have the text free Excel to make it a lot large. Uh, and then after that, we could add in text hyphen center. And then we could have the font, uh, font semi bold, which makes the weight uh, bigger. I mean, just make it bold. And then after that, we could have the margin of the Y, uh, to seven so it's not touching the nav bar so it's a down okay so that's that's good um after that we could essentially go in our h1 and then after the h1 we put an input field so input okay so the input field will essentially have um some of the following things we actually need a type which would be text right and then we'll have a placeholder and the placeholder Okay, it just filled up everything for for me, but I actually don't need all of this stuff. So, um, okay, so the placeholder would be called um, username exactly. So that's that's right. But after that, um, what we need is we need uh, the class name to for just adding some styling to it. And what we could say is um, for the class name we could have uh, you know a border and this would ha give a border for it we could make the uh padding three for each of the sections and then after that we could make the border rounded lg just have that rounded effect after that you could put an id so you could put an id to your div and and just call that as username after that you could uh essentially put an on change uh later on when you want to track the changes uh but at the moment right now we're okay for this so we have this uh input field uh for the username same goes um for the other things like suppose we have now the username we need two more so we have alt shift and down down okay so what you could see over here is we have text but this one would be uh email and the placeholder would be called email and the class name is okay and the id would be called email as well same thing goes for the last one which is password the type would be password and then the uh, placeholder would be called password so over here and then the um you know the styling is okay the id over here would be called password again so over here password okay good so now we're done with that you can see um right now you know they're essentially uh if i if i essentially bring it like this and in the mobile design view if i scroll out like this so you can see that uh they're they're like this and then if obviously if i make them smaller they're just going to go down but actually i want them um, in a better fashion. So for that particular case, uh, you know, you just add a class name in here. Okay. And that is going to be, you know, first of all, we're going to put a padding three from the top. So, you know, right now, if you could see class name and we have padding three from the top. All right. After that, we have a maximum uh width of lg and this means like you know the input fields uh the max width for the input fields would be large after that we want uh them as centered so margin x would be auto and this would consist them 
in the center. You can see right now they're in the center. Okay, so that's perfect. But uh, the thing that we have to think of is the uh, the input fields. And actually, what we ha have is that these three input fields have to be within a form, and that's how they will be submitted. Correct. So we'll put up a form in here. So we'll put a form, and this form should be closed here. Form tag, um, like here, right here. Okay. So let me just put it over here. Okay, like that. Okay. So now that we have the form tag closed, we could essentially uh, style this form. So we have class name, and let, remember, like I said, I want it to be centered. So essentially you could make the forms uh class name flex this would make them like that um next to each other but you want them in uh, you know top down top to down fashion so you could just say uh you could essentially say flex call to make them in a top down fashion like this and then you could just put a gap of four or something to make them a little spaced out um after that what we could do is we have this form uh done and uh, after that we want to put a button all right so after this um you know right after these three input fields i want a button so i will just say button okay so um button and then you could see that essentially um that button would have a, a you know a text and the button would say sign up okay right there but right now you can see right uh, this uh, you know back bg color is uh, the same as the background color or you could change the background color to something else so that the input field seems a little white or something to do that you could go to the index.css file which is inside of your you know source and in here this is basically styling everywhere it's global css and you could say the body of the entire application and then you could say that the background color for this would be an rgb color uh, are red green and blue and you make uh you could say 241 uh 245 and uh, 245 and the last one is 241 again so 241 and you can see now that the color is basically changed and you can see now that you could uh, you know identify the input fields as well Cool. Now, once we're done with that, we could move on uh, to the button and let's just make the button better. So first of all, let's put a class name to this button. So um, class name to this button. And uh, we could say that the button would be, you know, a background slate of 700. It's just a color for the background. And then after that, we could have the text of the button would be white so that we could see the sign up. Uh, we can make a uh, a padding of three, so it's a little fatter. And over here we have uh, rounded LG, so that the you know. And then we have uppercase, so that the text is all caps. And then we have a hover effect that when you hover over it, we could call we can make the opacity, opacity, uh, opacity. Uh, we can make the opacity change by ninety five percent. So you could see that. Um, you know hover over it there's a little slight change in the opacity and if you make it disabled you could change the opacity opacity to um, 80 percent now you can't see this once it's disabled but let's if i set this like over here if i set this as disabled disabled now you can see that the opacity has been 80 percent but right now we'll just keep it as uh, an existing one well with this comes handy when you know submit the button you know you click on the button or something like that so the button is created okay so this is all part of the form remember uh we could just use a format document and just makes it more cleaner organized right after the form tag you actually need to have another div so essentially this div is going to be um for the those people who already have an account i mean yeah so what are you going to do is you have its own uh, you know class name field so What's happening here is that you have a paragraph and the paragraph says have an account, right? So it says have an account and then 
um, what you want to do is you want to make them sign up for an account. So um, you're going to actually have essentially a span tag and in the span tag say sign in so have an account sign in right we already have a uh, so sign up for only this and sign in for that okay so let's just change the styling here of the class name uh, uh and then we could put a text blue uh of 700 so that you could see the sign in uh, button a little more clear um uh, other than that we could put a class name around this and we want them to be also together so we could call that flex so they're side by side we could put um a gap of those a gap of two so that they're a little bit spaced and uh, we could also put a margin top of five so that they're not squeezed with the button okay and we could also now um you know see the span tag and there's a sign in Okay, good. Now that the div is closed, um, this is pretty much it with our UI. Um, and essentially, now we have to add functionality to this. 